Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris here from the Printmaker System. And in today's episode, I wanna answer this question of what products should I sell? Because when it comes down to it, if you want to start selling printed products, well, you need to have some products to sell. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. And I have three main things that I really wanna cover with this. So uh, the first one is this. This is one of the very first stumbling blocks that we see so often with photographers is they say, I want to start offering products. They do a little Google search and they're like, and then from that point, they just give up. They say, hey, you know what? It's not worth waiting through all this. I have no idea where to start. I have no idea what to offer. And if that's you, then I want to encourage you to stick around to the end of this because I'm going to make this really, really simple for you uh, right at the end of this. Okay. So um, the other part of being overwhelmed with too many options. So you obviously are super overwhelmed with too many options, but something else that happens is uh, a lot of photographers, when if they even get through that point, what they do is they choose a little bit of everything. They say, okay, I need 48 of these and I need 36 of these and you know, and then the next thing you know, they just have this just a giant product mix, this massive list of products. And really, that's really bad for a couple of reasons. Number one, you're doing a bunch of work for products that you don't even really know if they're gonna sell yet. So like you're putting in a ton of work, you have no idea if your clients are gonna love them, you have no idea really if it's just, if they're even a good product for you and for your business. And then even worse is that you're kind of setting yourself up to fail on the back end because you're going to overwhelm your clients with too many products. You're going to put a product mix out in front of them and say, okay, well, what do you want? Here's this book of products. Like, have you ever been to the Cheesecake Factory? Their, uh, their menu is like 83 pages long or something. And you look through it and you're like, at some point you just say, I'm just going to close my, my eyes and point at something and choose something because there's just too much to choose from here. So, and that's really kind of how you're setting yourself up to fail if you choose too many products, all right? So rather than do that, here's what I want you to do. I want you to choose a very short list of products, and I'm going to give you that list right now, okay? So I want you to choose four options for uh, wall art products, four options for wall art products, three or four options for albums and books, all right? Four options for accessories, two options for press printed cards, uh, four different sizes of gift prints, and two options for digitals. So that's typically gonna be single, um, a single file price and a full session price. So those are kind of your two options for digitals normally. So let me go through those again, okay? Uh, and don't worry about writing these down. I'm gonna make this really easy for you in just a second, but we'll go through them again. Four different options for wall art products. So that could be, you know, metal prints, canvas prints, uh, framed prints, and acrylic, something like that, right? Um, three or four different options for albums and books. Four different options for accessories. Two different styles for press printed cards. Four different sizes for gift prints and two options for digitals, okay? So if you want to um, just fill in the blanks, I've got a free download for you over at theprintmakersystem.com slash products, and you can literally just fill in the blanks. This is the lab, this is the product I'm gonna offer from that lab, okay? So the last point that I wanna make for you here today is this. This product mix will never be perfect, so do not stress over it right now. All right, if you try to get this perfect right now, you will never start offering products. So just forget perfect. We just need something to put out there, okay? We don't need perfect. We need something to get out there right now to start offering products. And then we can constantly go back and refresh that product mix and, and you know, kind of, well, what we talk about a lot over here, and I'm sure you're going to hear a bunch over this series, is make it work, then make it better. We're going to make it work today with any products. I don't care what you choose. Put something out there because we're going to circle back every day after that and make it better. So with that in mind, uh, that free download for you over at theprintmakersystem.com slash products is actually a lot more than just a fill in the blank thing. I've actually gone through and done this for you. 
So if you're thinking, okay, cool, I've got a shorter list of products to offer, but I still don't really even know what to, where to start, then start right here, okay? I want you to go over and download this. I've chosen all of these products for you. Uh, it's really a mix of like Artsy Couture and CG Pro Prints products. And the reason that I chose those is because it's a really good place, they're really good labs, for uh, photographers who are just starting to sell products because they have a great balance of, um, of really high quality products, but also a really great price. So these are great products to offer and, um, and this is done for you. You can literally download this and be offering products today because I've listed out every product that I think you should offer, okay? So I want you to head over, I want you to do that. I want you to make it work this week or right now, really, by heading over to theprintmakersystem.com slash products and downloading that product mix. And next week, we're going to talk about how to price those products. Once we've gotten these two big kind of stumbling blocks out of the way, we're going to really dig into what's next with selling your work without feeling like a sleazy salesperson. But we have to get these two big things out of the way. What products should I sell and how should I price them? All right. So that's what I got for you today. Thanks so much for sticking around and I cannot wait to cover pricing with you in the next episode. Take care.